G'day guys, today we are going to be working on this Winnebago. Um, it has an old hot water system that um, needs to be replaced. So I've had a few dramas with it already, but I thought I might just make a quick video and show you how we sort of got around it and uh, how we installed it and everything. Okay, stay tuned. G'day, I'm Ben for Beautiful Plumbing. Um, yeah, today we're working on this Winnebago. Um, we've ripped out the old hot water system here. Okay, so it used to be sitting in this, in this hole here. Uh, here's the gas gas side of it as well. So the first thing we've got to do on it when we touch any gas on the van is just to test the gas to make sure um, it's not leaking because we can't hook onto something even if it's a smaller leak we can't just say oh look it's only a small leak someone else has done it and uh, we'll just we'll just carry on you know it's it falls on us then right so um, we disconnect the hot water system turn it off the tap put, put it on test and it just had this little leak somewhere so we were looking around for it and stuffing around. And it ended up being inside the cupboard. Um, they used to have a 12 volt, uh, oh, sorry, a gas fridge, and that had a ball valve on it, but the gas fridge has been disconnected and a 12 volt fridge has been installed, which, which are amazing, those 12 volt fridges. And I'll show you the, the ball valve. So this ball valve was in the cupboard here. Okay, so that was a ball valve going to the uh, stove. And they've just, you know, cut it, folded it over once, and and that was it. No welding or anything. So, with the valve on like that, gas would leak out of it slightly. Okay, the gas valve was on just that little bit because you can inside the cupboards, look the front of the cupboards, all the pots and pan rolling around. You could easily bump that, and then that LPG would just be pouring out of that little uh, folded over bit. I mean, they tried to tried to do it, but they really should have capped it off or got rid of it completely. So that took a bit of time to find this and to to cut it out so we we ended up having to get the um like as you can see here we've got the um got the winnebago we put it up on ramps like this on both sides because we couldn't get underneath it you know chest is too big so anyway we um to get underneath and what we ended up doing is cutting that line off sealing it off properly soldering it so it's not going to leak again test it all again and now it's all fine and so now we can continue on and just with the gas side of things so the water pipe is Quest, it says Quest on it. I'll just show you that, see? Can you see that? It says Quest. So we've got to try, figure out a way to get this pipe um, to hook into the new hot water system. So here's the old one that was, um, that was installed there. It was very manual, similar to the ones you've got at home with the sit valve and everything like that. So it's, it's seen its day. All the connections are on the back of it. Okay, so nice and easy to connect onto it. But now the new one here, um, all the connections are at the front. So I assume they've all got to come through here and then out this little hole here to get to get into the um, into the van somehow. So that's gonna be quite difficult. Um, the guy bought it and the guy in the shop, uh, who the guy in the shop he bought it off said, you'll need these fittings and then he should be able to hook it up, no worries at all. So he's given me this bag of fittings, a couple of bits of, uh, of blue and red pipe, which is uh, helpful. I buy it by the roll anyway, um, but it's, yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. Um, we've also spoke to the guy about putting a temp valve in just to make it safer, and you use less water then as well. Um, there's a video online about temp valves in the hot water in the Forbes Plus that we, when I'm in my van I put in. Awesome system, awesome for saving waters and stuff, and super safe for kids. But I'll just show you inside now um, what, what, the, what the plan is anyway. All right, so just inside here, I'll show you, um, this is where that little pipe was um, that was leaking, it was just inside that cupboard there. So you know, you got tackle boxes and everything could have moved around, just turn that little valve on. There's your little 12 volt fridge. Anyway, so here's the here's where the um, hot water system's got to go. And these are the, the pipes with the fittings. I don't even know if you can get these fittings anymore. So this is the cold, cold line going uh, from the pump um, and head off down here. And that, that'll go underneath and this is the hot main. So we've got a get the uh, a temp valve set up in here okay so that'll be the 50 degrees and so we need a um, you know hot main coming off the hot water system straight into the temp valve and then also cut some teas get the cold going with an isolation valve and stuff like that so there's a fair bit of mucking around with the water side of things as well and also um, the old hot water system didn't have any um, uh, electronic stuff like there wasn't a switch you know like nowadays you can just switch them on and they'll, they'll light up themselves and stuff it didn't have any of that stuff so um, it just comes with a few wires I'll show you that these wires here they come out come out the side of the heater and then they've got a, a 
couple of switches, so that needs to be hooked onto the 12 volt and everything like that. So hopefully, I'm gonna see my mate Glenn next door and uh, he might be able to do that for me while it's here, uh, if he's not too busy making his air horns. So anyway, that's what the plan is. So I'm gonna start implementing it and hopefully it goes well. Okay guys, I'll see you on the other side. G'day guys, or right, I'll just um, show you what I'm up to so far. So we've just sort of done the temp valve and adjusted the water and stuff, but I'll just come and look at this for a sec. So this is the, the setup here that we've got at the moment. So it's a lot easier to do on the bench, of course. Um, so it's great when you've got a workshop. So this is the gas line, I've, I've tucked that through the hole there. And then we've got the cold main going down there. Now, it's very important to put little sleeves in there so the water doesn't pop off. And this is the hot main. Now, these are the, um, this sort of pipe here, it's a still, a, it's still a John Guest um, pipe in that, but it's, it's sort of built to the Australian standard. So you can have really hot water out of it. Um, so there's, yeah. Um, very limited chance that that can um, pop off because the normal, you know, the, the, the blue stuff that you use, you can see, you know, it's just got one one wall and you imagine when that, or the blue or the red, it's the same, it's the same stuff, okay, that you use. Um, if it heats up too much, because these hot water systems um, go up to, you know, 60 degrees, even 70, some of them, um, which is, you know, great for storing heaps of hot water, but when 70 degrees comes in contact with the blue or the red pipe, it just softens it that little bit and sometimes it can pop off. So you don't want that inside your caravan. So the white pipes especially made for that. The walls are a lot thicker and inside you can see there's a little, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little line of um, aluminium in there, right? So it locks it in nice and nice and um, tight. So it can't really expand or, or pop off or anything like that. Um, so you've still got the little, um, you know, the little sleeves that still got to go inside. Okay, they're a lot thicker and a, you know, a different size. So that's so the water does, you know, it just can't, can't come out. So if you've got a storage hot water system, ask your plumber, make sure that they use the, you know, the approved ones, you know, the, the ones that look like this, John Guest fitting set that, you know, watermarked approved, like really nice stuff. So this, so the 70 degree water will come out and go around and then it will go into the, into the side of the temp valve. Cold line will come on the other side and then the 50 degree water will come out the bottom. But I'll just show you that inside uh, how we set that up. Uh, we've, we've cut out the old pipe here, the old quest or whatever it is. So we got rid of that. Um, so we've done some adapters and, and changed it over here, you can see, okay? So this is the, uh, the pump that's going to the, to the um, you know, where you fill it up, or not, not fill it up, so you hook it to the mains. So it comes through here, we've changed over. We've got a T here, okay? So T goes round here onto the isolation valve for the, to supply the um, hot water system. And then it goes across here, and this is to the cold side of the temp valve. Now the white pipe will come into here, okay? Um, that'll be the super hot pipe. So it'll go straight into the hot side. And then this tempered water, I've, I've got a uh, fitting here that's, that's locked on so it's nice and solid. And that goes down to the existing um, hot main, okay? And there's a little, I don't know if you can see, there's a little T there, and that's, that T there, that's gotta go down into the hot water system. So the cold water will come in here, go down and through there. So what I'll do now is get everything set up, put a, put a sealer on there, get it in, get it in position, then I can hook up the gas and the water and everything. And then I can see about, um, get my mate next door to see if he can hook up the pump. All right, so that's all, continue on with doing now, thanks. All right guys, so I've hooked up the, the water, I've tested the gas, so that's all, that's all good. Um, yeah, got all the pipes going through. So this is a 70 degree water, whatever, that can go on the on that John Guest white pipe. So it all, and the gas, everything, all goes through this little hole. So we've got to seal that up once that's, um, it's all done. Here's a pressure relief valve to, to go down here to re the leak out of there. Um, the problem that we got, but, is that when we're running the pump, um, it just takes a long time to turn off. It should take, you know, three seconds or something to, to turn off. So the pump's just down in there, right? It's, it's quite an old one, okay? And you watch here when I turn the water on. It's just a bit, a bit spluttery. See how it's spluttering like that? And then when you turn it off, that pump, you can just hear, just keeps going and going and going. They're still pumping away. So what I think is the issue is that, see it's got this retic filter on here, okay? That, that goes all the way down. So we've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine joints on that pipe. So if one of these is leaking and letting air through, it, it'll, it'll um, you know, it'll cause issue with the pump not turning off because there's like a bit of an airlock in there. So 
I gave the guy a call. I said, look, you know, his pump's quite old too. Do you, do you want to just put a new pump in and then also just get rid of this? So they've got these really nice little um, clear plastic filters that fit especially for this pump to clean it. Get rid of this thing. That's mainly just for the retic. And then also when you hook onto the pressure from, you know, like the, the mains at the caravan park, the, this all builds up pressure and then that pressure can go back into the pump here. So there really should be a check valve in between here and the mains where, where the mains goes on. So that pressure can't come back to the pump anymore. So you can see the, the pump is still still running now, you can hear it. Um, so I'll show you, I'll bring the microphone down there, you can just hear it run away. So yeah, so I think that's the, probably the best thing to do. Cut that whole section out there, fix up, put a check valve in, put a new pump in, just shift it down a little bit, give it a little bit more room, whole new suction line onto the tank below and then um, I reckon that would sort sort the problem out. So I've just got to make a trip to the supplier and get all that sorted now. So, all right guys, a um, bit of noise going on next door, sorry about that. Uh, hot water system's all replaced and everything, but these old, old um, you know, Winnebago's and motorhomes, caravans, all in general, there's always something else that crops up as, you, as you're working through it. Um, but anyway, that um, a spluttering has, has stopped. So I can, I'll show you now. Um, what the deal was, here's the old pump here, okay, so I might just um, see what I put up on this, on this bench here, sort of thing. So this is the, um, this is the line here that was going um, down through there all the way and that was going onto the bottom of the tank, okay. So you can see the amount of joints that, that had happened, you know, so you've got one joint, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine joints all together, okay. And you see these these joints are just pushed on with those um, you know rubber you know, those plastic retic ones, so they're they're not really that great. You know it's just for the, the drip um, drip feeds and stuff like that. So air could have been sucking in from any of these things as well. And this is a this is a filter too. Um, see a little mark there that probably could be a, a line that was you know loose or something like that as well. So that's why it was spluttering all the time. And here's all the grey grey fittings. So this one came from the town water okay through there and as, you, as I pointed out before there's no check valve so when it was connected into the mains from the caravan park you'd have that back pressure pushing on that diaphragm all the time so I don't know how old this pump is but um you know I spoke to I spoke to the owner and then it's just a case of look what do you want to do you want to you know I've got to replace this this um suction line um you know for another 150 bucks or whatever do you want to put a new new pump in while I'm there you know I've still got to, I've got to remove the old pump anyway to, to get it all off is it you know is, is it worth it you know because it only takes another 15 minutes to whack a new pump on there so he said yeah go ahead with that and then we can just get rid of all these all this gray gray pipe as well so I'll show you how it all ended up anyway I was able to tuck the pump um, just down down this way a bit more so it's a bit more out of the way okay so here's the suction line so it's just got one joint one joint going down and that goes underneath sealed it up with the silicon so the stuff doesn't come in there so and th this is the little inline filter okay they're great you can see when they're dirty easy to clean off you just take them out clean out the stainless steel filter and that goes into the pump all right so when the pump's working now it comes out of here this is the inline check check valve so water can only go this way okay so when you do hook it into the city water out there that's that's a that's a pressure limiting valve and a check valve Okay, when it's pushed into there, the water will come in here, but it can't go up and damage the diaphragm into the pump. And then you can see here the, the water goes up to a T, that goes around to the hot water system. Um, that's so to, to shut the hot, hot main, uh, you know, the cold water off to the hot water system. And then it goes up into the cold side of the temp valve. And then we get the really hot water coming into that white pipe I talked about later, uh, before. And then this one goes off to the to kitchen sink and everything like that. Um, so I make Glenn and the, um, next door, he's, he's put the switch in for the hot water system. So it's just a matter of switching that on. Boom, she lights up as long as the gas is onto it. Um, you know, the gas valve is down there. Okay, well, as long as the gas is valve, she's fired up. So the water's nice and hot now. I'll show you the, um, how it doesn't splutter anymore. You know, so it's definitely was, had some issues there. So that's just, that's on there now, really good flow. And see how quiet it is, mate. You can hardly hear it. These pumps, okay. I really, I really like the shore flow though. They're, they're great great one the smaller ones seem to really uh, just just be really loud so if you do use the water at night and stuff um you know it could wake your, your wife up or your partner uh, and the hot water too that's working great too so 
takes a little bit, but then it gets hot, you know, super hot. Now the water's, you know, really hot in the tank, but it's, it only comes out at, at 50 degrees. So that's what it's still tight. You put your hand under and then you've got the shower and everything in the basin in, in here like that. Okay, and the pump's turning off a lot quicker than it should should do now. It wasn't just kept running and running anymore. So yeah, it's a great, great result. So anyway, he'll be happy with that. So won't have issues in that for a, for a fair while now. So all good, nice and clean. So. I like leaving all the old gear. Oh, this is that, <laughs> this is that, um, that gas valve uh, that was going to the fridge and they just bent it over and smashed it up a bit and then said that'll be right. But you know, if that valve ever turned on, that's when it was leaking. And LPG is shocking because it's, it's heavier than air and it sinks, sinks down and uh, yeah, that's when it could explode. Um, some, some videos online with um, one of the, I think it was JB's or some one of the bigger caravans, one of the, the, the stoves had a, um, a gas uh, connection had come sort of broke or something in the aluminium connector or something and then filled up the cupboards and you see the walls are lifted and everything but anyway I always like leaving all the parts in the box so people can see what they've uh, see what's been replaced so leave that there for them to, to sort out so all good another successful uh, build um, happy to get this one out and uh, on the road so he's, yeah I think he's um, Looking forward to getting out, um, going away for Christmas and stuff like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, so, yeah, if you need to uh, replace your storage hot water system and you live in Perth, of course, or you're coming over, coming over to Perth, um, yeah, give us a call. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Catch you later.